arguably here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high power, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20. Because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points scored gives yourself your, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. And I think so because then you turn it into a shootout. And that means your offense has to get Oh, it. shit. Fuck him up already. Fuck it up already. I forgot this nigga. I forgot this nigga don't. He can't. Don't want to run. <laughs> no, yeah. Well, not, not like accurate shit. Yeah. He was waiting to play he yesterday. Yeah, Kaepernick? Wait, no, that's Rogers. That nigga looks weird in that uniform. What the fuck? Yeah, that shit looks dog shit. I thought that was Kaepernick at first. No, bro, you should see that uniform. It looks dog shit. Trust me, bro, my players got hurt a shitload when I used to play Josh. Like Odell, he did like a route run. And then, uh, yeah, it was it didn't go out so good. No. It's too fucking hard to get. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And they come into this one off the loss over the weekend, but you say if you're going to play a Thursday night game, this is the week to do it. It certainly is because you get right back out there. That's not Julio Jones. Look, is that Julio Jones? Plan is be a little more limited, but so is oh. theirs. So that's when you just appeal that to look like Julio. Players, guys. You make plays in this one, we out execute them, we can walk away with a win. On second down, back to Henderson. And shutting him down at the front. And he's going to have a Rams first down as the tackle made it about the 43 yard line. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. Me too. Me too. I miss baseball too. I miss that shit every day. They'll get this complete to Cooper Cup. And they'll get this to the 30 yard line before crossing over out of bounds. I've got Come on! I don't take Tom Brady's greatness for granted that we make it routine. How about that throw right there? Yeah. Another, another great completion. And you know one area where he honed his throwing? He was a catcher in high school. He was actually drafted by the Expos in 1995 in the 18th round. Well, that would have been something to see him behind the dish. I think he's gunned down a few guys. Gunned down a few guys trying to steal second. That would have been fun to watch. <laughs> he said, oh, that bitch is real. <laughs> oh, shit. Turn to the fullback, Gillespie, and they'll get him down just shy of the goal line at about the one. Second and goal from the one. Now he is going to be okay. stuck cold behind the line of scrimmage. The Seattle defense, they haven't broken yet. Coming up here on a third and goal situation. Now a play fake. Brady sliding oh. out of the pocket. Fly. Fly. Yeah. Oh, fuck. It's still third down. I take it. I take it. It's still third down. It's going to be more than a yard downfield when a pass is thrown. And they might have been able to call that on a couple of guys there. Back at the eight now. Third and goal. What? Brady now to throw. Yeah. Escaping the pressure right. Really? Oh, it's big. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted. Thrown back across his body. Huh? Good job by Matthew Jenkins. 
Oh, my ear is just. I'm fucking fucking around. There's a first and ten at the 14 yard line. So after I'm not good at defense, bro. You know that. Flushed out right. That's complete to DK Metcalf. Defense is what I cannot do, my boy. Throwing again on second down. Rogers. I'm Rams playoffs. Are you watching it? No! Just don't have the amount of time that you have in a normal week to put in a full playbook. So as you said, you shrink the playbook, pick out the plays that work best for you. You know what else you're looking for? It's like, who are the freshest guys coming off the last game to play on a Thursday night? Guys have a little extra pep in their step. You go to them early and often. They run it with Carson. And he'll get it out a couple yards shot. Field at the 48. It's another 10 yards shit, on that one and another first down. I'm not sure what it is. He used to tell his running backs before games, make sure you run and jog with your offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking when those big behemoths start to create space for you up front. He did a pretty good job. Just and he can't find the receiver and he's brought down. There, complete. And some space here. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. A lot of times when you get a magical third down situation like this, you have to think about your tight end, and he comes through for him, picking up the first down. On first down, Rodgers. Dumps this one off to Chris Carson. What the fuck? Oh, an absolutely filthy joke. He's got some space now. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. Two big plays in succession. Oh, three I'm not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal to throw. It's Rodgers dancing to his left. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a halt. Because he does be cheating. He'll end up getting right about 4 there on the scramble, and it's second down. Oh, I did this. Four. Oh, 15. Throwing is Rodgers. He'll check that down to Carson. Touchdown, Seahawks. Chris Carson, his 10th mm -hmm. touchdown of the season, second. Well, not really, not really. And the Seahawks are on the really. 13 nothing first quarter lead. Yeah. I got it. Myers connects on the PAT. Or like, at, like after a while, they'll start like changing and shit. Like a little bit faster. Like you won't, you won't, you won't play the full 15 minutes. This taking in at the goal line and makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23 yard. Oh yeah, that's different. That's different. Yeah. You won't call time out mid game. Rams offense at the line. And two interceptions thrown here in this first half. You hear it, no matter the sport, they say the great athletes, they can kind of have uh, don't be cheating, like I said. But that's easier said than done. It is easier said than done. Started out there. With a guy who threw two interceptions in the first quarter of a really big game. On who? My team? Johnny Unitas? And no, not, not I don't know. Level and not of that age. But I remember it was Bro, I don't play Madden. I remember looking over at him, and he was smiling. And I thought, what is he smiling about? Because he had enough confidence in himself that... And he went out and played pretty well the rest of the day. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. 52 yards rushing for him now as he has gotten the night off to a hot start. On first and 10, here's Brady. This one into the hands of Kittle. The when I can hit him? Seven no. yards to pick up there. No. I know you fucking suck. Second down. Brady. Eluding the pressure right. He's got the hook up here to Deshaun Jackson. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. 
Brady now on first down. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them. Fucking Cooper Cup, baby. They've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw Fuck there. It. And they're putting together Fuck a very it. strong drive as a response. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. And he'll give it here to his running back. This carry to spike tried. the extra didn't work. will be stopped. I tried, it didn't 10. work. Two yards on the carry there. It'll yeah, did. it didn't work. From the gun, it's Brady. Oh, fuck. Never mind. Completes We're good. It to the tight end, Kittle. That throw good for only a couple that brings up third down. Here's Brady to throw. Flush to his right. And this is caught. He's got it. Touchdown. Robert Woods. His third touchdown. Oh, they're both reviewing it. And the Rams have got this back to a one score game. Uh, if you play the football. All scoring plays need to be verified upstairs. And I think they're going to at least take a look at this. Find it hard to believe. So a little ass nigga. Why the fuck is my shit going so slow? So oh, it's because this thing's going to be. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Mm. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive to see how I don't fits. know defense. They are currently mired in a losing streak. Now they get the short week for the Thursday night game. You see them puts it on the carpet. It's out. And now the Rams have got it. Go the other way. These defenses have become so opportunistic. And no matter what you're playing, in this case, wide receiver, you got to be careful. I certainly do because there is so. a phrase in today's football that we use all the time. Complete. Oh, you're down. And now before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look yeah. at it just to make sure that yeah. they have it right. Like if you got ran over? Or I got ran over? Oh, no, nah, I'm back, man. Shit happens. This ball comes loose, and is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear position. Wow, shit, shit happens. Afterwards, this is a tough one to overturn. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their 36-yard line. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. They're bringing a lot of pressure here already in the first quarter. Already sacked him once. Now they get in there and knock another one. Nah, shit happens, bro. You think maybe that tough just happens to everybody. It's the, it's the best to everybody. Don't happen. Like, everybody's not perfect, you know, bro? You know what I mean? Escaping the pressure right. Guy right, tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. It's the former Seahawk, Richard Sherman. Right. And he will bring it. It's an interception return for a Rams touchdown. Well, you don't have to say that. Yeah, they're making a It's a low, it's a low vibe, my boy. Outside of the pocket, extending a play and making a bad play. Oh, I fucking missed it. Six points the other way. Oh, no, I got it. Sometimes when you get outside the pocket, your, your vision actually gets obscured a little bit, or you narrow it down too much, and you don't see all the defenders in the area. Oh, running back? Yeah, they run the ball way too much in middle school. You have to have a lot of fucking stamina. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. There's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. And they just had that pick six. I guess the only positive maybe of them returning that for a touchdown. This offense right back out onto the field to try to make up for it. I like that because really? now it doesn't give them a chance to go to the bench and really settle. You know, to sit there and kind of seethe over the idea that they turned the ball over previously. Right back out there. It's almost like hopping right back on the bike after falling over. Let's see if they can get the ball moving again. Yeah, we'll see if they can do it here. But they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defense good, backwards. But also like with the runners I just don't know the fucking defense. The I don't know how to work defense. All day long to get out here and take off. 
Here's Carson. Oh, put a card up to somebody. And able to get this one all the way up to about the 46 yard line. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Working from the gun, Rodgers. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. Ah, uh, P.I. Lined up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. So a costly penalty yardage-wise as that'll move the football down to the spot of the foul. I didn't mean to when do it. Did it by itself. In these situations, whether you're playing the man oh, or the ball. And if you're playing the man, you get a lot less leeway in terms of what's going to happen at the end of the play. But if you're looking for the football, it's less likely to draw the flag. A nifty move on the run, but ultimately stops short of the goal line down at the two. He'll get four yards of the carry there, and we will get to the end of the first quarter of play. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. Yeah. And they'll turn the power game to try to get in. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. Call it a gain of a couple. The defense stiffening here. It's third and goal. And again, they'll go right back to their fullback. And he will score. Touchdown, Seattle. Nick Ballore, his second touchdown on the season. And the Seahawks have taken the I got it. Extra point up and through by Myers. And the lead is now 21 14. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up. Send this one away. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22 yard line. <laughs> A drive. Set to begin their next drive. Oh, right the Rams offense at the line. Whoa! And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking, my replacement may get an opportunity. <laughs> Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically, one guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. And they'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. This one across the 45 before he's brought down. An excellent run there coming from out wide. And we used to consider these jet sweeps to be gadget plays or something a little bit unusual, right? But now most teams have some version of this play in their playbook. And I think it's a lot because of the receivers that are... And this is caught right along the sideline. What a job of keeping the toes in bounds there. So the big play gets him all the way down to the that outside. That dude's the wrong the person. <laughs> From the gun again to Henderson. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Shotgun now for Brady. Oh, I shouldn't have lobbed it. Toward the end zone, but that's going to run. Towards the end zone, avoided to hang up there forever. Wanted to run up there and pull it down out of the sky. Yeah, it felt like it really should have been intercepted. Lucky to have that one back. You've got to be more careful when you're that close to the goal line. Throwing his Brady on third down. Oh, come on, my boy. No coverage bust by the defense here. They did a nice job accounting for everybody, and that led to an incompletion. Tom catch it there. Trots off on fourth down, and on comes kicker Matt Gay. On the right hash, this from 33. And Gay knocks this one through. And that'll bring him back within four. So the margin shrinks there as they get the field goal to draw a bit closer here in the second quarter. Yeah, nice snap, nice hole. They just want to keep this game close, so give them credit for finishing that one off with three. Reed going to bring it out of the end zone. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. That last drive, it was a good mix. Run, pass, run, pass. 
defense on their toes. And what really helps out in a big way is when you're doing the run pass mix and everything's working, that means that they're guessing wrong every time on defense. They think you're going to pass when you run and vice versa. I would continue that and when Maybe. you finally draw a beat on it. Maybe you mix it up a little bit, a little play action, and throw the ball. And will they maintain that balance? Time to find out. Calling a loss of two there on the play. The Maybe that is Sherman. 13. Now it's Rodgers. That's complete to the tight end, Everett. And yeah, this defense rallies. Bro, come on. I'm down by fucking four. Four. before he's taken down at the 29. Both sides were holding their breath there on that fourth down play, and the offense can breathe a sigh of relief. And both knew exactly where the first down markers were. You know the defense is trying to guard those sticks and try and keep people in front, but somehow, some way, those guys found a way to pick it up. Trent Murphy, the one to bring him down. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Rogers gonna throw. Flushed out right. This ball tipped and it's gonna be incomplete. Fortunate maybe to get that back. It's third down. And the Seahawks on third down. They've been okay That's two for three thus far. This is third and eight. Rogers now to throw. Looking for Lockett, and it's intercepted. It's the former Seahawk, Richard Sherman, and they will take over at the 29-yard line. Henderson now on first and 10. And he'll take this inside the 30 to about the 29, maybe the 28-yard line. Two oh, God. On the pick up there. It'll be second and eight. Brandon, we talk all the time about those hybrid players, guys who can do more than one thing. And I think if you're playing strong safety in the NFL today, you are a true hybrid. Part linebacker, part cover guy. And coming up, sticking his nose in the mess there and making a nice play defensively. And I like the idea here. Get the ball in his hands, even if it's in the passing game. Three catches a week ago, and he does a nice job here to pick up yardage. Meanwhile, Brady's throw pulled in by Kittle. And they can't bring him down. Touchdown, Rams. George Kittle, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Rams are going to jump back in front. Well, we know someone just added to his touchdown passing total, but all he did was get the ball out quickly to his tight end and let him take care of business the rest of the way. Here's Gay now to add the extra point. Fuck, I missed it. And oh, he clanks it off the right upright, and it's no good. <laughs> I hit the goal post. <laughs> now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out. What do you mean, there. finally? It totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack him here. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. And Jared Denver makes a good catch there for a first down, and he was signed away from the Seattle Seahawks division rivals, the Rams, after four years in L.A. backing up Tyler Higby. He's excited about his opportunity in the Pacific Northwest. Last year, 41 catches. Oh, fuck. High. Yeah, I seen that shit when I did it. Territory now, it's first and ten at the 38. Now Rogers. 
Returning right back to Lockett. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. Ran the perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync. What? Stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across mm -hmm. each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each mm -hmm. defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. A pass underneath for Carson. And he will be knocked down hard, but he will have the first down. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? Rodgers now on first down. Pressure applied, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back at the 33 yard line. Aaron Donald, he's the one to get him, and that is sack number seven for him on the year. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. Another try after the first down sack. Rodgers, here's Carson with a catch out of the backfield. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. Eighth play of the drive, forthcoming, and they need eight yards on third down. Now Rodgers. To the right side and complete to Metcalf. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Moved back to the 10. They'll try on second and goal here. Back to the ground. This time it's Peterson. And he maneuvers his way down to the three-yard line. A nice run there as he picks up six. It's going to be third and goal now. Carson. No gain on the play that time. So a big stop, and it's going to leave him with a fourth and goal. Here's Rodgers. Eluding the pressure right. And he's got it. Oh, what? What? You gotta be fucking kidding me, bro. No fucking way. Oh my god. Touchdown on the season. And the Seahawks have once again taken the lead. No control, no. Oh, come on. Coming from Myers. Oh, my. Oh, my God. He had. Oh, my. This fucking game. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone Still, bro. Second quarter or not, bro. Fucking points matter in this game. Yeah, like, not even touchdown, bro. Let's fucking drop that shit. Offense at the line. After the long touchdown drive we just saw, you wonder if maybe that's taken a little of the wind out of this offensive sales because they had it going pretty good last time, too. Had to sit over there for a little while, didn't they? You know, they were eager, amped up to get back on the field after just scoring, hoping to get the ball back quickly. That didn't happen, so I'd say come out, just kind of get started again. You know, it doesn't have to be anything dramatic. Just get moving, get loose again, and see if they can get it downfield. And he was able to shed one tackle but could not get away from there. 
five yards. Now it's third and five. Well, you know, this club, there were some reports earlier in the week, and most have heard this by now, so-called unnamed sources that were saying all is not rosy in that locker room. There's whispers that one or two guys, CD, have kind of had enough of how things are going and have been going. How would you handle that as a coach? Well, you and I both know all the coaches that we've dealt with and come in contact with. They'd love to get their hands on those unnamed sources, wouldn't they? But they know that that's not possible, so I think they've got to go in there and make sure that this isn't a distraction. They also know that once the grumbling starts, it becomes a slippery slope and it's hard to stop the fall. I think you need to sit some guys I'll down. Fucking hold me on that touchdown. Team this year. We need you guys to be bought in with Whatever. Them. Come on, let's get on board. Now a play fake. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sack back at the 38. Leonard Floyd able to record his fifth sack of the season. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Another try after the first down sack. Rodgers. And it's a leaping effort, but it's knocked away and incomplete. Receiver coaches preach to their guys all the time. Separation, that's what's going to make the play successful. That time there was very little, and I think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted. Over the middle, that's caught by Metcalf. And this play comes to a halt at the 33, and obviously that's well short of the first down. Just a five-yard pickup, but it leads to fourth down. Myers' kick is good. And that'll push the lead up to eight. So a nice kick there as they add three to the lead. And from what I've seen so far, Brandon, I think they've been the better of the two teams here in the first half. So even though you want the touchdown, I think that's a nice job there to put three points on the board. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. They'll run with Henderson here to begin the drive. And he'll work this forward for about three in second down. Coming up at the half, a reminder, we go back to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman and have a look back at our first half as well as a look ahead to what's coming up. And the Seahawks defense gets to him and they bring him down. Rashawn Gary charging hard from that linebacker spot and he drops it for a loss of 11. Some secondary help here for the defense in the nickel on third and long. Working from the gun, it's Brady. Flush to his right. You got to be kidding me. You can get a touchdown by fucking dropping the ball. Good there. The contact popped the ball three, and it's fourth down. So on fourth down, here's Johnny Hecker to punt it away. Back deep for the Seahawks, Tyler Lockett. Shut the fuck up, dude. And they punted three times in the loss last week as he sends this one away. Forty-four-yard punt. They're going to wind up losing yardage on the return, though, and it'll be Seahawk football first and ten. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense, and still plenty of time remaining here in the half, more than a minute. And we'll see if they just want to protect that lead or try to add on to it. Well, with as much time as is left on the clock, I would imagine it would be the latter. I think they're going to try and add on to it. So what they're going to tell the team is very simply. If you can get out of bounds after making a play downfield, terrific. If you can't, everyone hustle to the line of scrimmage, either run another play or clock it and start over again. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. What the fuck do you mean, wake up? They shouldn't have had that touchdown. First down is Rodgers. Intercepted a third time. Picked off near the 42. And they will take over possession of the football at their 42-yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And with good starting field position and three timeouts as well in their pocket, no reason not to try and put a late scoring drive together. 
The Rams gonna go ahead and use the first of their timeouts. Fuck, I don't know what to do. 22 seconds to go here in half number one. Looking to throw again on second down. Brady escaping the pressure right. And that is incomplete. So 17 seconds. Try throwing away that pick too long for here. They certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. And this is caught. A spectacular one-handed grab there. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. Again, they'll throw with Brady. Flushed out right. That's big. He's punching the wrong fucking button. Picked off by DJ Reed. And a potential uh -oh. turning point as he'll get the football in very good field position late in this first half. Three first half interceptions now, and Charles, you'd have to think a fair amount of concern is developing over there on that sideline. And there should be because essentially he's been a little loose and possibly reckless with the football here in the first half. Now maybe it's not a lot on him, but still three interceptions. That puts what? the entire team in jeopardy. So oh, play fuck. from here on out. Gotta design some throws for him that he can yeah, complete, matter. keep it away from the defense and try and get him back on track. That's what I'm telling you. This is you. DJ Reed returning. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. And they've got the lead. CD, what do you think the message was at halftime? I don't think the message was too Mama. drastic, I think, at the half, or that they need to change things too much. I do think the offensive line could play a little bit better. I think they'll try and help them out more. They'll probably keep a tight end in a few more times and maybe add a running back to the formation to pick up those pass rushers because they probably allowed a few too many sacks for comfort in the first half. They fake the give. Now Rodgers. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. It's the former Seahawk, Richard Sherman. And the Rams are going to have the short field here as they'll take over right at the 50. That is just what this defense was going to be. I don't know. On the <laughs> possession of this third quarter. Obviously didn't want to surrender a touchdown and fall even farther behind. And we've gotten to know this team a little bit, haven't we? Couldn't you just see their defensive leaders telling the offensive guys, telling the quarterback, don't worry, we got you to start things off. You take it from there. Fuck! I tried to stop him. It's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. But these guys got to chop into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage. No yardage will be found. Well, the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. And he spots Henderson open left side. And he'll get it down here to the 43. So mark off the yardage for roughing the passer. And I've seen this before. On a screen pass, not only are you rushing the passer, you're rushing him deeper than normal. And I think a little frustration kicks in at the end. You're going to hit him anyway when you shouldn't. To the right side, this is wow. Henderson. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Now Brady. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Like I said before, your mama. When you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the... And he's going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. Daryl Henderson, his third touchdown now on the year. Try my and best. the Rams use the short field of their advantage as they cash in for six. Offense, A strong, nigga. determined run there, Charles, to get in for six points. This is why it's such a team game, isn't it? And I know that sounds really generic and it sounds almost trite. 
but the blocks were made up front. Offensive line collected victory at the line of scrimmage oh. and downfield. And how about the finish to the run all the way into the end zone? Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Reed going to bring it out of the end zone. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. A little short pass. This is Everett. A good pickup there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. On play action, Rodgers. Eluding the pressure right. Rodgers sliding to a stop with a first down. He's starting to fall into the category of not fair because when he's on target throwing the ball, he's dangerous. But when you add in his ability to make plays with his feet, <laughs> almost impossible. Yeah, exactly. They've had trouble stopping him in the secondary. This time they've got the great coverage. Oh, he can run too. And now here is another interception. Picked off right around the 43. And now off to the races down the right side. And he will bring it back. It's an interception return for a Rams touchdown. We constantly talk about defenders having great vision and being able to see plays unfold and make their own plays. But you also have to have good feel as well because you can't see everything out there. See the play unfold feel what's going on, and then get to the right spot and make your own play. And in this case, it turned out to be a highlight one. And he'll get into the end zone as the two-point conversion is successful. Let's try my best. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. And they gave up the pick six. And now they'll be looking to right the ship here. Now, as a quarterback, are you a little more cautious this go around? You should be, just because after what you gave up. But you can't be so cautious as to just really take things in, and now you're not going to play loose enough to give your team a chance to score. But you still have to be careful, because those defensive guys, I know the reputation defense guys can't catch. All evidence to the contrary on that last possession, though. 49 yards rushing for him now to this point. I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Carson. And this will be a Seahawks first down as he'll get this up to about the 42. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? That looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. It just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. Flush to his right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And incomplete on the deep ball. Well, we've talked about it, CD, but it bears repeating. They are struggling to throw the football. All the interceptions and more incompletions. It just doesn't look like things are in sync out there. I would agree with that, and it's not a good day when you feel like an incomplete pass is almost a win for you because it wasn't intercepted. Wide open. And I think the receivers now, when they're running their wide routes, open, they want to catch the ball, but they also want to make sure that the defenders don't take it away. Rodgers to throw on third and one. And he finds the Fitzgerald. Foot. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. There's a throw over the middle. It's taken in by his tight end. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. 
on the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. Chris Carson, a 10-yard touchdown run. And the Seahawks have retaken a third-quarter lead. Myers connects on the PAT, and that will make this a four-point game. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. <clears throat> well, this has been all that we'd hoped for two of the game's all-time great QB slugging it out in a one-score game here in the second half first and ten now left side on the swing pass gets around him and they get him down but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line this offensive game plan has just been sensational I mean when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to that and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. Brady's throw taken in here by Jackson. That's right, baby. It's all oh, shit. Me. And he just falls short down at the one yard line. After the big play, a chance to finish now on first and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. A great effort there with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Rams have answered back with a third quarter touchdown of their own to retake the lead. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And that gives them a three point lead. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Reed gonna bring it out of the end zone. I don't fucking know it. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And that last drive was very, very balanced, pretty methodical. You think they go that route again? Holding. I'm always up. And my goodness, another interception. Taylor Rapp with a pick. And the Holding. return this time will go out to the 42-yard line. So they elect to decline it. And why not? Just go ahead and let the play stand, and they'll take that. So the special teams penalty costs some yardage there as they come out on first and ten. Now a handoff here to his running back. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. He'll buy some time right. And for the fourth time in the it's an interception. Picked off here by Jimmy Smith. And the Seahawks are going to take over at their own 11 yard line. Uh, uh, oh, what dumbass? I fucking clicked the wrong one. I'm as puzzled as you are, partner. I don't understand. I clicked the wrong one. Shit. You lose possession of the ball, yet you turn down a penalty that would give you possession back. Now let's make this simple. Anyone who plays the game, yeah, I picked the wrong one. The Always take the football. And great yardage here all the way deep into Los Angeles territory. 
A big play there on the catch and run. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. And here he'll get it down to the seven. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to him back. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. They run again with Carson. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. They'll try to run with Carson. And he will take this one in for the Seattle touchdown. Chris Carson punching it in from a yard away as his guys are able to regain the lead. Now Myers for the extra point. And that will make this a four-point game. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. The hell? <laughs> Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Escaping the pressure right. Oh, what the fuck? And now here is another I was throwing it away. I don't know why I did that. Did you hit me when I threw it? DJ Reed. And have the ball set up in the red zone at the 16-yard line. The fuck? I, I punched R3. Take possession already in the red zone and in a great spot to add points to the scoreboard. And Brandon, how many times have we seen a defense with a lot of field behind them? get even more aggressive, right? They feel like they've got them not pinned down, but in a favorable spot for them. And they took advantage of it there, got a nice interception, and set up their offense in great shape. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. Carson again. And he will score. Touchdown Seattle. Chris Carson. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Seahawks capitalize on the short field as they take it in for six. Extra point up and through by Myers. And that pushes the lead up to 11. Kick this one away, and off it goes. He will return this from deep in the end. Now a hit, and a loose football. And the Seahawks Figures. have picked it up. And always does that when he runs sideways. Inside the 15-yard line. Oh. There's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Shotgun now for Rodgers. hit but they'll say it's incomplete you can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield they had nothing working in the secondary so he dropped it off to the running back <laughs> that one ended up incomplete well, thanks for joining us here on a Thursday night in the NFL third Fuck, I got, I got the wrong play. Ten coming up it's caught Lockett and he's taken down at the seven after a gain of seven timing is so important on a route like this because he's gonna line up out right then cut straight I just told you, the connection to your peer has just been lost. Can you get me off of my home screen, please? Hello?